hello, uh, hello, CMS community at uh, the AOM. Uh, my name is Gaurish Chavla, and um, I've been asked to do a short video to represent myself at the conference as I can't be there in person. Um, in acknowledgement of um, the fact that my thesis has been awarded as the uh, joint winner of the best dissertation in the field um, this year. Um, very grateful for the award, very grateful to my supervisors, very grateful to the reviewers, um, to the panel who orchestrated um, this, um, uh, this award, but not just that, very grateful to, um, you know, as the Google Scholar uh, dictum goes, the, the giants whose shoulders I have stood on, you know, there is a lot of work of people who would be in the room listening to this video I have drawn upon and cited. So I'm very grateful to those who have, um, you know, pulled these ideas out of their soul and uh, penned them to paper. Um, and yes, very, um, um, very sorry that I can't be there in person and I wish I was, um, but hope to see you all um, at maybe the next or the year after um, conference. I have attended uh, one in the pre-COVID times uh, in Atlanta where I presented an early um, early stages of this work, which was uh, very graciously accepted as well as I received some very good feedback. So again, I'm grateful to, um, to all of that contribution that has come my way. Um, um, I suppose I should tell you a little bit about what I did um, in the work um, as a brief introduction um, uh, to that. So I start with, uh, I'm going to read a few bits from the the 30 page submission that I sent forward as a way of introducing you to what I did for my work and uh, the bits that I felt um, um, represent more of the um, more of the um, contribution or more of the soul of the work, um, you know, um, but as I as I write in the contribution, it is a reductive, uh, it is a reductive sort of lens that I'm applying and um, um, as someone who's been left out often enough, I feel the pain of the word that has been um, excluded from inclusion. Um, so anyway, um, I draw on bell hooks to begin with, um, bell hooks rest in peace. Um, it becomes ruthlessly apparent that unless we are able to speak and write in different voices, there is no way to convey across borders to speak to and with diverse communities. And um, quite a powerful statement. And of course, borders can be meant to imply. Well, for me, I take it to imply not just um, literal borders um, in terms of our geopolitical borders, but also epistemic borders. You know, we, we write about positivism and interpretivism and so on and so forth. Um, so this is sort of, um, you know, but but not just, not even just that, borders between what is normal and what is madness and what is sort of, um, you know, um, to use the Foucauldian term, um, what is normal and what is abnormal. It's all um, you know, all, all of these are borders and um, when do you exist on the right side of the border and when do you cease to exist on the right side of the border? I think that is the challenge. What is good writing? What is bad writing? What is bad and meaningful writing? What is um, good but meaningless writing? You know, these these are all questions that I have, um, um, I ended up tussling with in the writing of this work. So, um, I interviewed a few workers, uh, you know, asking about their everyday lives. I used a free association narrative interview uh, method, um, sort of um, starting by uh, starting by use of photos. So, you know, uh, showing people pictures and asking them what um, what does that remind them of in times of their work and so on. And and then I sort of include as I listen to the stories and I get um, displaced myself, you know, I cross borders within myself. I then include uh, what Alice would call, uh, perhaps, well, hopefully, hopefully Alice would call a heartfelt ethno autoethnography of um, uh, what becomes of me, um, you know, the journey I undertake through the process. So that's the sort of, uh, you know, those are two parts. 
And then the third part is, of course, the theoretical underpinnings of um, what the work moves through. So we look at we look at writing, we look at queer writing, we look at difference, we look at um, uh, some of our common shared perceptions like the myth of individuality and uh, you know how we within the myth of individuality how we construct our individual identities and how we might all be connected you know um, um, we look at uh, these things through a psychodynamic lens in the theory um, as well as stories of myself and um, you know stories of people I interviewed and that sort of that is hinted in the title of the thesis the stories I wrote forward slash the I that the stories wrote. Um, I used um, a range of ways of writing. Um, I didn't really have a sort of set formula for what goes how. It was more like this feels like it should be a poem, so it must be a poem, and then the poem gets included. And the, um, the theoretical idea of what Selford looks like psychodynamically. I, I did a painting and I included a picture of that painting. So so very arts based research, um, you know, as some would call it, very arts based uh, method it evolved into. Of course, that's not how I started, but that's how I um, uh, I finished the product you know, <laughs> to, to use that uh, language. Um, but yeah, coming back to the workers whose stories um, I have tried to tell, um, you know, it's sort of they cover themes as you would expect, uh, themes of power, of privilege, how um, oppression and everyday resistance happens during work, the trauma of work in a capitalistic society and how we find our resistance to it. Um, you know, I think the, the difference or, or the difference that I tried to bring to telling of these stories was rather than reducing these themes to abstract or distant concepts, I tried to connect with my own traumas and my own sort of um, what some might call uh, my own otherness to write of these in an evocative manner. So, you know, um, as one reviewer said, it's not just about conveying the knowledge, the viscerality of the experience needs to be conveyed um, as well. Um, you know, so so that's the sort of essence of um, uh, I think, uh, or, or or a brief introduction to what I did uh, for the work, and I suppose um, what the reviewers liked about um, the project as well. Um, uh, if you're interested, by all means, please do reach out um, and uh, connect with me. Of course, um, I hope to make it to, as I said, the next conference and reach out to you uh, and meet with everyone. Um, um, meet, meet with everyone, um, CMS community and AOM, uh, AOM at large. Um, oh, once again, thank you very much. Once again, thank you very much to everyone who has helped me, um, well, helped put me in this place where I am sending uh, this message um, to all of you and um, hope to see you. Um, Hope to see you very soon. Let me just um, let me see if there is any. Yes, there was there was a poem in the conclusion that I was looking for and uh, I have found it, so I'm just going to quickly uh, read it um, to you as a sort of um, final note of my message. Um, maybe then through my, our work, my, our politics, it's, it's not a rebellion that we seek, but a happiness. If we are anxious, if we have depression and the cause of it is capitalism, but then the only cure available from our neoliberalized health systems are more of the malady. Then maybe what we really seek through our work is not a rebellion, but a cure. We don't care for rebellion, maybe. All we want is to belong. Thank you. <laughs>